Sheikh Moza bin Nasser highlights the devastating impacts of war on education at this year's Y Summit. The Hamas chief in Gaza has met with some Israeli hostages. Stick around to find out more. Qatar's Minister of State for International Cooperation at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Lulu Al Khatar, meets wounded Palestinians in Egypt. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Sheikh Moza bin Nasser laid bare the tragic consequences of war on education at the opening of this year's World Innovation Summit for Education on Tuesday. Tuesday. At the summit, she said, quote, while war disrupts educational institutions, exhausts the health sector, and stops the development process, the most dangerous thing in wars comes after a ceasefire, after the movement of history has stopped and the rubble of devastation has rained down on it so that the victims begin from scratch, from the ashes left by the destruction. And now Hamas's military chief, Yahya Sinwar, met captives held in Gaza and assured them in flawless Hebrew that they were, quote, in the safest place, Israel's Channel 12 reported on Monday, citing an anonymous source. Sinwar allegedly told the captives, quote, Hello, I am Yahya Sinwar. You are the most protected here. Nothing will happen to you. The prominent Palestinian figure is at the top of Israel's hit list after the October 7 Palestinian operation known as Al-Aqsa Flood. Sinwar had learned Hebrew in Israeli prisons in 1989, where he was given four life sentences before his release in 2011 in exchange for an Israeli soldier, according to Israeli media. Finally, Qatar's Minister of State for International cooperation at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Lulu Al Khatar, visited Palestinians wounded by the Israeli aggression on Gaza at the Al Arish General Hospital in Egypt on Monday. Al Khatar conveyed Qatar's full solidarity with the injured Palestinians and expressed wishes for their swift recovery. She further forwarded Qatar's preparedness to offer medicines, equipment, and medical supplies to both injured Palestinians within and outside the Gaza Strip. Al Khatar's visit to the hospital in Al Arish came a day after she visited Gaza as the first high ranking Arab official to enter the besieged Palestinian enclave since the start of the Israeli aggression. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website and download our app.